thank everybody for coming out today and participating in this. Uh, we bonded today. We bonded on this, this tour. And whatever happened on this tour and what happened today, they could never take that from us. It's going down in the annals of history. Okay? It's not that. It's like what we do from here. And I want people to go back to the States. I want them to think long and hard about the future of our people. <clears throat> everything you've seen on this tour, everything you've learned, everything you want to learn, right? We're telling, you, we're telling people uh, why it's important to connect to this country and the Pan-African movement. But I think it starts right here. Okay, this is what our ancestors left for us. This is our responsibility as men and women to do justice in this country. I want to talk about something, right? In every city we live in, every city we live in, every other ethnic group has sister city projects. What they do is they find state funds, government funds, other things, sovereign wealth funds, and they take it back to their home countries. They bring contracts from their city, the city of Virginia Beach where I'm from. The Filipino community have hundreds of millions of dollars uh, going back and forth between the, uh, uh, the, uh, the port of uh, uh, Portsmouth in Norfolk to the Philippines. Filipino companies and American companies are benefiting with nursing, pharmaceutical, everything. There is no connection really between black diaspora in, in Africa. These are things, this is unacceptable. We live in some of the biggest cities. They got some of the biggest sovereign wealth and pension funds. Chicago, been sitting up billions of dollars of many people that live in these cities' pension funds. Do you know where your pension fund goes to? It goes to fund wars. It props up countries like Israel, Ukraine. It invests in things like Sony Records, the music industry. It's time to start saying, hey, look, we want some of those dollars. The pension funds and loans is what built cities like Los Angeles and Atlantic City. If we were, we were real pan Africans in our city, we would say, hey, look, we want some of that those dollars to develop the West Coast of Africa. No compromise. So when you go home, I want everybody to look into that. What is my sister city project? You got a project happening, you'll find that other groups of people do. You'll have somebody from Chile, and he has a consulate there in your city, and they're doing things to Bangladeshis. And Brooklyn got their own hospitals and their own police. What's the matter with our people? And so it's time going forward, we have to leave something better for our youth. We got to admit that we failed or our shortcomings and leave something for the youth. It's not about us anymore. America blessed me with a good life. Now I'm ready to give back to my motherland. With that, I want to thank you for coming out and good night. <laughs>